G'day Australia, I'm Quorum E in the absolutely amazing Pipistrol Alpha Electro all electric sport aircraft. This thing is absolutely phenomenal. It's the perfect trainer aircraft and it's an amazing sport recreation aircraft. It has a flight time of about an hour and it is fully zero emissions, completely electric. In Australia, it consumes about three or four dollars worth of energy per hour to operate. So in terms of what this means for a flight school operating an electric aircraft instead of a conventional petrol aircraft is as follows. We had, last Monday we ran five sorties, so five training exercises with this aircraft. Five different customers ran uh, training flights five times in one day. So that's the sort of duty cycle you can expect out of an electric aircraft. And our cost of operations for that day, less than $20 of aircraft energy consumed. So no fuel, just electrical energy, and the service and maintenance on this aircraft is extremely, extremely low. The motor that's in here, the first service for the motor is at 2,000 hours. Okay, so normally you're doing, as aviators would know, heavy maintenance, 100 hourlies, 200 hourlies on your motors. There's lots of other service and maintenance schedules to squeeze in on petrol combustion engine aircraft, but the electric motor 2000 hours is your first motor service so we just do our 100 hourly on the airframe the control systems much much less much much lower cost of operations Bruce just going over the difference in say the 100 hourly maintenance on the electric aircraft versus the internal combustion aircraft for you as an engineer what's going to be the biggest difference or advantage of doing the 100 hourly on the uh, electric aircraft okay so the biggest um plus for the electric aircraft is the lack of vibration because the majority of the 100 hour inspection that we do on the, the aircraft with the internal combustion engine is uh, it's, it's the engine check and the airframe check, the damage that we find on the airframe, the wear and tear, is, is caused from vibration. It's caused from vibration, which yeah, we don't so have I expect, on the electric Yeah, aircraft, which we don't yeah. have on the electric, so I expect the electric aircraft to be a lot um, less airframe. Uh, inspection requirement. Yeah, so in addition to obviously there's no engine to um, maintain on the electric aircraft, but the, the damage that the engine vibrations of a petrol would normally be doing on an electric, uh, uh, sorry, normally doing on the airframe, uh, null and void in the electric, there's just none of those absolutely. fatiguing yeah. vibrations yeah, occurring. Yeah, absolutely. So it's, it's the general on the, on the pit store has 100 hour inspection, yeah. but they're general visual inspections. Yeah. And, and the wear and tear I expect to be a lot. A lot. a lot less than we will find on the general uh, Rotax powered light sport aircraft. Fantastic. $20, less than $20 for five training flights in one day. It's an absolute no brainer. Flight schools everywhere that are doing RAOs certified light sport training should be using this trainer because they will simply save and make a lot more money. As well as that, you're operating a zero emissions aircraft. If you can collect your energy from green sources such as solar or wind, or if you've got a hydroelectric plant nearby, which a lot of places in the ACT do in Australia, then you've got an amazing source of green, clean energy that you can refuel the aircraft with and operate truly zero emissions. It's an absolutely fantastic plane to fly. Make sure you get across to our other social media platforms, uh, LinkedIn and Instagram, and you'll see a lot of students that have just hopped out of the plane after flying for the first time, second, third or fourth time, and the grin on their face is still amazing. It's a beautiful late model, brand new aircraft. Everything's new and shiny and amazing like you'd expect from a new aircraft. It feels like a brand new sports car, not like an old, tired, haggard trainer that you'd normally expect to find at most flight training schools. So you're flying in a beautifully engineered piece of equipment, Everything's new and amazing. The flight control systems are awesome. It's electric, so it's completely peaceful. There's no roar of the motor. There's no vibration through the chassis. It's a very serene way to fly. The performance is incredible. 60 kilowatt motor, we're boosting up off the ground very, very quickly. All of this amazing wing surface area means that we climb very, very well. And the beautiful sleek, you'll see, I'll get a little bit behind here. You'll see the shape of the fuselage and the airframe in total. It's a very, very sleek, sharp design. Everything's optimized for efficiency. It's a very, very smooth surface with a complete carbon composite build, so there's no rivets and overlapping panels to add drag. 
There's no struts and spars and things slowing you down. No exposed components on the wings for the flap controls or hinges for the ailerons. Everything's completely tucked away. It's a very, very efficient plane. So the flight experience is truly magnificent. I can't describe it to you, you have to fly it. You have to come down to uh, one of our, and fly one of our demonstrator models with a trial introductory flight or convert to electric with the five hour endorsement so that you can hire this aircraft recreationally. And flight schools, you've got to get across this. You have to consider switching to electric. If you currently fly a two seater trainer, this thing will literally save you tens of thousands of dollars a year in service and maintenance costs compared to your old tired internal combustion aircraft and it will give your student pilots a better experience learning in a nice modern new aircraft. You've got to try it out. Come and see us. We've got this demonstrator active in Jandicott at Cloud Dancer Pilot Training. Uh, that's where the first model is, that the first Pipistrel Alpha Electro operating as a trainer and demonstrator. And we've got two more of these aircraft on the way to coming soon to a lucky flight school near you. We're looking for more adopters of this amazing aircraft. We've got a lot of data on how well this aircraft works and uh, how valuable it is as an asset in a flight school. So if you're interested in that data, hit us up on the website, use the contact page, email us and we can pass that info on to you. We'd love to help you get a hold of one of these electric aircraft for your flight training school so that you can optimize your operations, offer your pilots a better experience and save and make a lot more money. Electric aviation is here folks, it's here and it's happening. It's not a distant pipe dream, it's right here and now. Have a look at www.flyone.com.au for more information. Hit that subscribe button because I want to see you here again soon.